Hello! I don't know what kind of cat I am today. Kind of like a Dalmatian, maybe? I know that's a dog kind. So I guess the idea for this series is just like painting really simple cats, having a really nice, relaxed, chill time, and just uh, being easy on yourself. <laughs> because anybody could paint a cat. So I just use any kind, you could use a pencil for this step, but you gotta just outline kind of what you wanna paint. And my cat has a big old head. And then he's gonna have a little arm here and he's waving. Yeah. And don't forget his other arm. And then he has lower legs too. I guess they're getting little stubbies. Like a little, uh, a dwarf cat, I believe. I'm not sure. So let's uh, get the tail. Let's have the tail go off screen. That's something different. Now it's not all in screen. Does that look like another waving or does that actually look like a tail? I don't know. All right, I'm cleaning off my brush. I'm going right into the red. Ooh. And um, if you want, you could paint in layers, but we don't have the time for that on this show. I was thinking about having the same painting with several steps along the way, maybe for a future installment. You know how like when they cook on television and like, they always say the magic of television and they pull out the fully cooked thing that they cooked right before the show. So you don't have to sit around and wait or they don't have to sit around and wait for the thing to be done. It could just like, ta-da, the cake is ready. And then I'll, I'll have, I'd have just the outline done. I don't even know how I'd do it. What am I trying to break down the scenario where I fictionally do all this work? Who knows? <laughs> I wouldn't be doing all that work anyway. All right. <laughs> For some reason, I don't like that tail, but can't deny it now. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe I'll grow a real tail. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I won't grow a real tail. So I'm trying to make down this process of painting a cat to make it into content, like the content you're watching now kind of thing. But there is absolutely no right or wrong way to be painting. I think Picasso really proved that when you look at a Picasso. I have some red on my brush. I'm gonna mix in some white and a little bit of blue and some more red. And that's the pink I'm going with today. And I'll just color the pink on his nose. Mm. Clean my brush. Beat the devil out of it. <laughs> that is uh, Bob Ross. His magic words. He's painting with oil paint, so he had to clean the turpentines out of his brushes. I still, I clean the water out of my brushes because it does affect the paint a lot. So I got the white on there. Now I have some white on my brush here and I'll mix in a little bit of blue to make this real light blue. And just color in the eyes. Ooh, those are so, those are some dreamy white blue eyes. Light blue, I should say. Wow. And Every time you see me paint, I've always painted something in the background, like the green grass, 
the last installment I painted a red sky because I painted a blue cat. Um, I really am tempted to do something similar. Because, yeah, here, here we go. We'll get some yellow paint on here. And that's like the sun, right? But maybe that could be the entire back painting. Just, what if I just like all the way down here? I guess it's kind of orange now. Maybe that'll be the trick. It's orange. And I'm just picking up the yellow, the red from the cat. <laughs> Get some more water in here, kind of lighten the uh, yellow down a bit. Mix in some more red. <laughs> oh, a big old splotch of paint there. I think the biggest thing this show needs is a producer, somebody to operate the camera as well, to zoom into the painting, kind of zoom out while we're talking. So it's not just one static shot, but the, there's always room for tomorrow for improvement, but might as well get our show done today in the meantime. This is looking really good. I'm really liking this uh, this orange yellow background. I'm not really too heartbroken about the red getting mixed in. Ooh, I'm running low on yellow though, but it looks like I'm running low on canvas space too. So I think I'm nearly done with that color. Um, clean my brush and let's mix some black what I use to mix black myself really easy is I grab the ultramarine and I grab the um, the red which is uh, vermilion and I figure there's enough yellow in the vermilion to mix a nice black but you'd always had a little bit more yellow but you kind of playing a dangerous game. You don't need too much yellow. It starts coming up a little brown if you had too much. And then just go. Got the paintbrush real loaded with paint here. Because uh, putting the eyeballs in first. And those are the most wet part of the painting right now. Because there's layer. Er, that's the freshest part of painting. I should say. On the cat at least. And then give him a big old smile. A little dash from his nose. I like to give them a little ear hole sometimes. Oh. I just notice there's some, put a bit of black there. That's okay. And then uh, some whiskers. I'll give them three on one side and two on the other. And before I wrap this up, Give them, get some more white dots and put it right over the newest thing. And then that really just kind of makes those eyes pop. <laughs> Whoa. And then uh, tilt up the camera maybe. No, this isn't working too well. Ooh, there we go. And that's how you paint a cat.